Pop this shit in, nigga, just slide, nigga. Space. I'm just focusing on me. But then you can pause up the music and how, but you know we're talking because you can see. Okay, I open up my door, smell like gas. Smell like that shit you smoking bout, nigga, throw it in the trash. 93, remember when the nigga didn't have it? Yeah. Not a pack, flipping shit, I tried that for the magic, yeah. They tried to pay me as a villain, that's a lie. Shit, I gave them all I had, it wasn't enough until I died. Shit, that's when I realized it ain't no friend, just touch your fire. I ain't going not bad, mad, sad, I dragged outside. Had to hustle hard, time was great, back with to the face. Shit, I'm running late. Got a little situation with my dreams. It's a Hello. date. Don't hit up my phone unless it's mom cooking me a plate. Yeah. Unless it's mom cooking me a plate. They didn't know me, all they know is on the man. I've been around them OGs, I've been blowing OCs. And swimming pool shit, just fill it up with bands. Light it up with smoking, nigga. I'm the drill king. They think they know me, all they know is on the man. I've been around them OGs, I've been blowing OCs. And swimming pool shit, just fill it up with bands. Light it up with smoking, nigga. I'm the drill king. G shit, smoking on that side and make you see. To the folks. Yo, we in the building with Space Boy Marley. Yo. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, already know, man. I appreciate the opportunity to come through. Hey, we about to run one more song. All right. Hey, we in here, man. Shout out. <laughs> so what? Nah, we're running two more because I want to run this right here for sure. Oh, so to do one more. Are we ready? All right. All right, All right now we're ready. See my visuals, shit. I've been stepping on physical. I'm peeping, I'm saying I'm lyrical. When I be spitting, I'm feeling so spiritual. You just be talking, that nigga ain't hearing you. Well, put the lot of gun, you shit on yourself. Playing the cards, the nigga would tell. Be broken with scars and healing yourself. Kick it like Mr. Miyagi. If I hurt your feelings, I'm sorry. If I hurt your feelings, I'm sorry. Huh, sorry, y'all. 
up complaining, I'm plotting on million. It is what it is, better watch how you stuck. Gotta watch how you move, gotta watch how you chilling. The niggas ain't right, so just play to the left. I waited my turn, sit back and I learned. With the business that pays for a word of my niggas. We trying to get rich, y'all nigga. I bless you. I shot you on Insta, go viral on hey. Created a wave, my nigga. Fuck it, I'm back in the rage, my nigga. No humble power, my sage, my nigga. Calling the blitz. Never played no games with niggas. I could turn you to an angel, nigga. One blink of an eye, I could change a nigga. Demonize you a stranger, nigga. Let me just put you on game, my nigga. Yo, I'm just about to show y'all because I got like y'all already know I'm be asking a bunch of questions, so I'm gonna just like show y'all why I'm asking the questions. <coughs> Listen to the music, man. Space. Yeah. Really change you. I can, I can really change you. I can, I can rearrange you. I can, I can't really change you. I can, I can't have you ever loved. Have you ever loved? Have you ever loved someone? Yeah, really change you. Uh, yeah. When I fuck you in the back with the legs up, I talk straight fast, it's a pleasure. We can ready shit back, get you at her. I can lay you on your back, love ladder, the baby you saw. To me, the mother hoes, nah. I know that it must have been hard, but you on your job. You sense it, baby, you a boss. And I come over here, take it off. I'm about to give you all of this pressure, yeah. Know that it's levels, uh. Chemistry falling together, yeah. Put in the stormiest weather, yeah. Hey, look, baby, come close to me. Let's coast to see the porch. You getting this chest, yeah. Break down the tree like a vegan. Uh. Smoke on the healthiest lettuce, yeah. Some I am nothing to zero. To her, she like, nigga, forget him. Keep winning and show you a winner. She right the front. Yeah. Beginning, eight, you know that business is business. I play with a spot to drive in it. Get all in the mouth like a dentist, and this what she say when she all in the feelings. Like, I can, I can't really change you. I can, I can't rearrange you. I can, I can't really change you. I can, I can't have you ever loved. Have you ever loved? Have you ever loved someone? Diamonds like a Bruce Banner, got the game hold in the ace band. The right wrist is fucking some up, but the left wrist is 86, man. I'm riding around with a bummer clock, telling stories how she an ex dancer, but she too hot to be touched on. You still call the nigga red handed. She's a cane like your granddad, got welcome home on the trance down. Bitch, you throw both, say another round, so I do both and I'm back at it. I keep the ass like a crack at it, get a toss of guts like a bad salad, man. All the niggas see is ass, ass, had to tell the bitch to go on bad back. I, I, I want the Bruce Wayne to black land. She fucked too long to fly standard. They way too scared to have questions, and I'm way too gay to have answers. I'm not too saints to try plenty. Got two mans like the shake ass, like the braid hair, like the dude nails, just to go on head, just suck that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, my nigga just slid that bitch. You already know what time it is. You know how I rock this nigga's face. Hey. I look in the mirror. Better let that bitch breathe. Yeah. Is a young old man. That's right. You already know. With only a lot of kids. You know I'm not a. Am I just full of them? Y'all do a cartel. Skin tan winning. You already know what time it is. Y'all. Yeah. She doesn't know what to do. Hey. Hey, hey, stupid ass bands on a nigga, I'm allowed to stink up the building. 
no words, I'm chilling. But the niggas be hating, and this for they feelings. Have you ever surge, just keep the lights on. They keep on fighting till the fight's gone. The niggas is snakes, just look at their face. They shoot something just to put the ice on. You won't kiss me like it, just look what I'm packing. This 40, your bust like the Navy. Just lock me away and swallow the key. Your bitch about to make me go crazy. Hey, I had to tell my mom was at you. She said, Lord, wife for my baby. I swerved through the block like all day, swerving through the project hallway, paid me like never, ever, like ever, ever. Shot with them, cause my price is better. Ride around all times of night, bought my cheddar through any weather. Skin team, it's a mean dream. Bling, bling, all we knew was cheddar. Shots fired, tried to knock me down, then make a sound, but all we knew was get up. I told them I'm great, shit, they looked at my face. They just hit me spit and say I was dope, and still trying to cock on my ace. Yeah. But now they like space, just go Gorilla 8. They gave me your hands, these niggas ain't safe. Just go catch you a case. Yeah. I'm looking in the mirror, and all I see, I swear to God, all I see is a young old man with only a dream. Am I just fooling myself? And she'll stop the pain. She's taking my heart. She doesn't know what you love. Chasing my dreams, but still as I'm watching the scene, I know this is not what it seems. So I intervene, rolling a leaf and I fill it with green. Thinking if they wasn't green, we could have been a good team. We could have been a good thing. Guess I want to journey to faith. It's so rich, you gon' take for the cream. Gotta get cream, cause life is a journey. journey. Life is a 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 journey. I'm just chasing my dreams, but still as I'm watching the scene, I know this is not what it seems, so I intervene, rolling the leaf and I feel it with green, thinking if they wasn't green, we could have been a good team, we could have been a good thing, guess I'm on the journey to faith, it's so rich, you gon' take for the cream, gotta get green, cause life is a journey, journey, life is a journey, life is a journey, life is a journey, hey, life is a journey, I'm cold just like the climate Got high goals and steady climbing If hitting the split for the crime I'm at that point that it is violent See the world and keep on trying Why is all my people dying? Either they lie to hear the science Just say bye-bye and keep it silent Like, where did we come from? I don't believe in you, dumb dumb The world is so loose in their dreams You feel it inside, just how they go dumb 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 just looking for truth in a world full of lies Niggas just open your eyes Seeing the time as it flies, y'all I'm just chasing my dreams But still as I'm watching the scene I know this is not what it seems So I intervene Rolling a leaf and I feel it with green Thinking if they wasn't green We could have been a good team We could have been a good thing Guess I'm on the journey to faith It's so rich you gon' take for the cream Gotta get green Cause life is a journey, journey. Life is a journey Life is a journey Life is a journey Life is a journey, journey. Life is a journey, life is a journey. Life is a journey. They love to come up, but they hate that it's us. 
Small circle, not too many to trust. Hearts are bound to feel the pain when it cuts. My name's a leak and we gon' make it a flood. I'ma break up the bud, elevate from the mud. Life's a journey, who am I to be judged? I just wanna lift the weight when it's up. The rug that we live in is too unpredictable. For us to be thinking so typical, honor your giving potential and get to the pinnacle. You got it in you, my nigga. The road is so long, but the view is much bigger. Keep the focus, keep your heart on gorilla. All the pain, you gotta take it and get up. Take it and get up, cause life is a journey. Chasing my dream, but still as I'm watching the scene. I know this is not what it seems. So I in the pain, rolling the leaf, and I feel it with green. Thinking if they wasn't green, we could have been a good team. We could have been a good thing. Can someone to turn into faith and so rich, you gon' take for the cream. You gotta get green, cause life is a journey. 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 Life is a journey, life is a journey, and life is a journey, and life is a journey, 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 life is a journey, life is a journey, I'm cold just like the climbing. Fire, 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 fire in the building. Hi guys and welcome to another episode of the Wise Magi Godcast. Today we are here with Space Boy Marley Yo. and Professor Rasnati. You already know man. What's going on? Shouts out to everybody out there watching. One love. They already know how we come in the building. Emperor, you can turn that off for me, man. I'm pretty pleased, you know. Got these expensive mics, man. Yeah, all that sound. So um Definitely, bro. I want to definitely thank, you know, it's a legend right now we're looking at, bro. We all got to be thankful oh, when, you know, when we see people working and shit, bro. Because, you know, a lot of people, they don't really, you know, identify things when they see it growing. You know, some people come out, they see, they may see like a, say it's like a, a, a pineapple, whatever, nigga. It could be any tree, but a lot of people don't know until it starts showing fruits, right? Mm -hmm. Facts. So the Facts. most I say you are known by their fruits, bro. Mm -hmm. So... I just want to start off, G, with the name, bro. Because you got the name, right? Yeah. We got OG over here. Facts. Facts. Mm -hmm. that's, so, you so know, that's pop. So, 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 <laughs> one, one of the first Johns I heard from you, I heard you, you, you had OG speaking at the beginning. And OG was saying, what, what is rich? Okay. You feel me? See, you so like, in the class. Oh, no, no, for sure, for sure, for sure. That's love right so, go, 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 go ahead, do your thing, man. Go ahead and um, explain the name and just add thing. All right. As far as the um, name. The song is called uh, It's Only Getting Better. Okay. Um, the inspiration. Um, okay. Uh, for one, I'm just a Bob Marley fan, period. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, I fuck with the music. Um, but more than anything, I just fuck with what he stood for, like, as far as, like, just being a revolutionary and setting trends mm -hmm. that was, you know, better better as far as how we treat people and treat, treat ourselves. Nice. You know what I'm saying? So, um. I, I, you know, I'll go through a lot of his interviews just to try to, you know, sponge it a little bit, see what I can learn, because that's what you do with people that you um, look at as your idols or mm -hmm. that you look at as the greats, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Which I could say, you know, I took a little something from every person who done did great things with this music shit. Okay. But more than anything, mostly I relate to what Bob Marley was doing, you know what I'm saying, or what he was trying to do. Okay. So those clips man they become like you know clutch moments for me so it's a little shit that i go look at that you know just to keep my mind fresh and, and energy fresh on what i'm really doing and shit for just to humble keep myself humble mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so that was one of the clips that i felt like was something real that that went over the heads of a lot of people of what it really meant you know what i'm saying so you know pretty much in that clip it was explaining he was basically trying to say that anything material didn't mean much. You know what I'm saying? And it was more about the simple things for him. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why when he asked, like, what you mean, Rich? Like, he basically said, in a sense, like, whatever richness is to you, you know what I'm saying? That's what richness is going to be. Mm -hmm. So you asking me, am I rich? It depends on if your rich is my rich. <laughs> You get what I'm saying? Facts. So rich in what? Yeah, rich in what? Because you can be rich in many things. You could be rich in a lot of things. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It ain't necessarily got to be placed on money. Um, you could be rich in happiness and peace and love. Um, yes. those are the type of richness that I look for. You know, out of life and shit. So, I felt relatable to that clip. Um, 
and then I made a song called Only It's Only Getting Better because uh, at the time everything was like just really bad in my life. Okay. It's, and it, was this one of your first songs? Because I, I I know around the timeline was around like 2017 or something like that. Yeah, um, this ain't one of the first songs, uh -huh. but it's one of the first melodic songs. Okay, okay, for sure. Okay. Um, before that, I I really wasn't even singing or harmonizing over anything. It was just mostly me rapping over a beat real quick with a chorus and getting it done just to push music up. Okay, okay. Yeah. But that's one of the first tracks that made me like really dig in as an artist, I guess. You know, you got to go find that sample, make it fit, how, you know, you and build that. As far as like kind of becoming acquainted with Bob Marley, was it from a child? Were your parents into Bob Marley? Like what kind of influence you did? Yeah. yeah, I mean, my pops for, for sure had every CD, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But even with that, it wasn't that. Um, Are you from the islands or? <laughs> ah, man. You want to know it's crazy um <laughs> it's wicked uh but i'll share that i'll share it here um i literally just found out maybe uh a week or two ago that i'm nigerian and german and scottish mm. Mm. So, you know what i'm saying so if you german and you scottish you might be jamaican for sure because those people that ended up over there yeah of course you know it's all island mm -hmm. but the thing is it's like not knowing that for the you know my whole oh, life type right. shit, just thinking like you know I'm from the hood type shit. <laughs> like whatever they like it is what it well, is. Also, both your parents <laughs> were born here also in America. Right? Yeah, so, okay. so it, it's just like okay, you know all my grandparents had passed away, which mm. sparked the situation that we ended up finding out more information that led us to us finding out like real people. Mm. You know, so we found like, uh, you know, some some first cousins and stuff like that. So now it's like I'm really just I'm fresh to it right now still okay. too. So, but it is interesting. It's like, damn man, you know. So like, are they are they on the ground in Jamaica or? Um, I don't know. We literally been back and forth through conversations, just literally even still trying to see if um my grandparents are still alive. Okay, so you're saying as a as early as what high school you kind of got on Bob Marley? Like nah, I've been I've been vibing on his. I mean, my dad played the music, but me like, taking my own liking to him ended up yeah, I'm like middle school, high school. Okay, and then the herbs did were you did you start in high school or? Nah, like herbs. I, I I smoked some herb at a at a pretty young age. I'm not gonna like, <laughs> expose that. <laughs> Yeah. But you know, kids say no to drugs and all that good <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's like I smoked a little earlier than I should have, but it wasn't as much, you know, it wasn't enough to say, oh, I'm a smoker type shit. Right. But I started early. Okay. But me middle think, school, though, middle school, high school, yeah, straight stoner. Do you think it had an effect on like, you as a person or your music at all or nah if anything it, it just kept me chill and able to literally Focus. like do what i really wanted to like um we we never slowed me down in any way you know what i'm saying um i think hey, actually we some made, of my best hey. ideas came while i was smoking a joint or while we were smoking inside of the studio i probably but not to say that it's the weed that's giving me the ideas. Mm -hmm. It's just like it hasn't hurt me. No, the thing is, it can't slow you down because yeah. the two fastest people that we know damn near smoking, Shakari Richardson smoking and all Michael Huff smoking. <laughs> so it can't slow you yeah, down. Yeah, <laughs> smoking that Shakari cat right now. Nah. You know what I mean? So, you know what I'm so for sure, you can't be slowed down. I don't know what else they, they can try to finagle, but they can't slow you down, especially when you're on the herb. So definitely. So that's the Marley. As far as the Space Boy, like, is that yeah. the same? Like, how did, how did um, that come about? I think the Space Boy just really come complimented with the fact that, like, people just catch, like, that chill vibe from me. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it just, and also it just fit because, you know, I also fought with, like, the whole Astrid. I don't know why, but I just had always had a thing for space. So I put that in front of the Marley. Before, it was just Mr. Marley. That's what they called me mm. when, I first, when I first started <laughs> rapping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When I first started rapping, but that name came mostly from like the streets. Okay. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. That was my next question. Yeah. Um, as far as growing up, did you grow up 
in this area or was it? Yeah, I grew up. What high school? I was. Did? Well, I, okay. It's it, see, it get tricky. All right. <laughs> um, elementary school, I was in Eanville for a little bit, mm -hmm. um, and then Fort Lauderdale. Um, middle school, uh, yeah, I went to uh, Howard Middle School. Mm, over there by downtown. Mm -hmm. Did you play sports at all? Um, nah, I actually tried out for the team seventh grade and didn't make it. Mm, okay. On some funny shit. You, you said fuck it. Nah, I didn't say fuck it. It was just like I wasn't like I was a class clown, bro. So my grades never. My grades mm. was the thing that kept me back. It wasn't the talent. You mm. know what I'm saying? It was my grades because I used to like just be vibing, and skipping school, doing years? stupid shit, huh? You went all three years at Howard. At Howard, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, well, eighth grade, seventh grade, we moved. And I went to Georgia and I finished um, middle school up there all the way up until like ninth grade, tenth grade. And, and then how was we came that? Back. Like, was, is the school uh -uh. system the same? Or because I heard before, like in Alabama, they had like metal detectors and stuff. To well, yeah, no, nah, it's 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 the only thing different was um it was just like a strict like dress code and um it was heavy gang banking going on. You know in what Georgia? I'm yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah, I mean. You'll be surprised, man. It's everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Not mm -hmm. not necessarily yeah. saying that, you know, it's some real shit, like some Cali shit, but mm -hmm. right. at the same time, it's some neighborhood shit going mm -hmm. on that, yeah, they banking out. They banking everywhere, man. Okay. You hey, know what I'm saying? And, so. and, and that's super interesting because one thing I always say, and I kind of heard you get into this, so I kind of want to give you some, some space to kind of go in. But when you look at everything, just like you was talking about gang banging, was like, damn, they gang banging. You're like, yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere besides New York, bro, I feel like you can make it for music. Yeah. I feel like this area, the reason why you were saying even earlier, you kind of see that a lot of people push the same narrative. Yeah. Is because that's the way you make it out. Because everywhere other than Facts. New York is based on culture. No, you're right. You feel me? So in, in in Cali, if you ain't talking about being a blood or a crip, you're not making it. Nah, I get what you're you saying. You feel me? So yeah. you gotta kind of have I mean, ties but, in these other places going. Nah, facts. But even with that, right? Mm -hmm. Like like me for 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 example mm -hmm. i mean because i ain't never banged i mm -hmm. never claimed the gang never said i was in the game okay you know what i'm saying i always moved with my own energy made friends organically and um uh, carried on whenever they wasn't friends no more it wasn't ever a need for me to have it or be in the game bro i got so much family like we'll <laughs> literally pull up at your shit 20 cars deep nice. just on family that, that <laughs> Fuck that. now when i get my family. friends involved then it's a whole nother thing like you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but real shit my family <laughs> like that so we like that about each other you know what i'm saying okay. so gangs ain't it wasn't something we was raised up on we was raised up by real street niggas like real hey. street shit going on <laughs> like you know what i'm saying like hey under it was <laughs> simply on a matter of i need to make money to eat yeah just hustlers I, I was raised around hustlers you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying like exactly i wasn't doing. raised around no wearing the flag to try to teach exactly. our son to do that now nah, dog like everybody was trying to get money to live better you know what i'm saying <laughs> where i come from type shit yeah but that's not to even throw no dust nah, on shade. nobody you know, on nobody fact. Cause you know, wherever you at, you gotta be on what you own. You know what hey, I'm saying? but I always say though, to what extent can we let things go until we say? Cause like, think about Bob Marley. We call Bob Marley revolutionary. Think about Peter Tosh and any of these brothers. Yeah, I understand. We saying, yo, we can't put no knock on them. We're not knocking them. We're knocking yeah. that idea. Yeah, we I can't mean, keep pushing this shit to our youths, bro. Facts, we, you feel facts. me? Like, e I mean, number one, bro, I can I can vouch for that because I never let nobody else's influence compromise what i stood for okay you get what i'm saying yes, like i had yeah. homies in bloods i had homies in crips i had homies who was folk i had homies who was um uh latin king i done had some yetha niggas mm -hmm. yeah I, it's i'm talking about for real mm -hmm. it's all but it's right. about you whoever you is mm -hmm. bro you don't like people gonna respect you you know what i'm saying like if that's what you want then yeah they gonna you respect you on that they're gonna they're gonna put that energy but bro, I don't bang shit. So now you can't even have that energy with me. It's like, okay, shit. If you don't like me, then that's another thing. Yeah, yeah that's something. Personal. You know what I'm saying? That's another thing. Yeah. But on some gang shit, that ain't never been my problem, nor anybody like directly around me. My brother was playing ball. You know what I'm saying? My little brothers played football, basketball type shit. I played football, basketball. Outside of that, we were just vibing, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never get into that. I was already outside. Wait, so what high school did you end up? Um, high school when I got back to Florida, 
Um, the first high school I went to was Haines City, but I got Ooh, kicked okay. out of that school because I ain't gonna count. I had roasted the uh, pr- <laughs> the principal. They kicked you out for roasting the Yeah, but I I did that on some stupid shit, bro. Cause, you know, you when you young, you do dumb shit. But right. he had done been on my ass for about three days straight. You feel me? Like, so I'm telling him, like, man, just chill, bro. So now he got a whole crowd of people out here. You know we ain't going like that. <laughs> you know we ain't going like that, bro. He got to get it now. <laughs> now he got to get it, bro. You done did this in front of all these girls and shit. You got me fucked up. You crazy as hell. Dude, I'm finna fire your ass up. Fuck it. Yeah. I had that jumped on his ass, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Got my ass stupidly expelled. No cap. Yeah. Then, <laughs> that's Hain City shit. Then I left Hain City. I got to Poinciana High School. I went to Poinciana High School for probably about uh, shit, a couple semesters, man. And got into some shit with one of my homeboys. They thought I was, he was banging. Some niggas tried to jump him. I jumped in to make sure my dog ain't get jumped tight shit. I ended up getting expelled. So I graduated that summer with the rest of my classes online. I was like 16, turning 17. What was that, 20, what, what, what class? Uh, 07. 2007? Yeah. Oh, I was there, but yeah. it was 2012. Oh, you a legend, I gra- bro. Yeah, I graduated 07, though. That shit, I ain't gonna lie. The shit was, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's crazy. That's how, what's up, though. So, crazy like, did they have shit, FLBS and stuff back then in 07? Huh? In 2007, they had online classes? Yeah, because it was this online, all right, because it was this online graduate, because for people that get expelled or shit like that, they got the option to either a get the ged or you can go and go through the online classes to finish out and get your actual diploma you know what i'm saying so i went and for the diploma route you know what i'm Mm -hmm. saying because fuck a ged i could have dropped out a long time ago for that (laughs) shit i ain't i ain't have to get harassed by the principal or none of that for that i could have just stayed my ass at the crib and just got down paid that little fee real quick you feel me like fuck it like and then out the door is Poinciana like your stopping grounds or? Um, I mean, you're... shit, I was over there long enough. I know mostly everybody over there. I know I, I'm a lot of people over there. I mean, my age at least or a little older, yeah. Okay. For sure. Hmm. I mean, it's probably a whole nother younger generation around that bit now, but. That makes, okay, so where are you originally from? I'm originally from Ianville. Ianville, okay. So like, do you, because it's all right, because I want to stay on Ianville, because mm-hmm. I don't want to run yet. As far as Ianville, because yeah. People always talk about black, black, black. Do you know oh, that? Do you know that that's it. still a black breast? Like, you, bruh, go ahead, man. Inville, bro. Okay, if you black, uh-huh. right? If you're black, right? And you on that black pride shit about America, then you have to come to where I'm from <laughs> at least once <laughs> in your life, as far as America goes, <laughs> because this was the first established city. The first. Period. The, mm-hmm. I'm talking about period, mm-hmm. bro. They'll tell you 1887. You can look this shit up. Uh-huh. You feel me? <laughs> I was born in the house on the back street, probably four blocks, five blocks away from what Zora Neale Hurston house was at. That's powerful. Born in the house, he said, though. Yeah, I was yeah, born in the is. house. I was born in the house. My mama had me in the crib. You know what I'm saying? She, yeah, yeah she got a That's story. Powerful. It's a whole story behind that shit that her and my auntie be telling. That shit be funny. So was it on? Was it intentional or was it kind of just like happenstance? What's to have, that? The, to have you in the house? Nah, it wasn't intentional. It was on some <laughs> shit like she was chilling and I was like, I'm on go. <laughs> Wait, what's, yeah. your, what's your sign? Huh? What's your sign? A Leo. Mm-hmm. August 4th. Okay, Are you about to out. check that out? <laughs> I know you like taking stuff out. Everett, you can go get me um, but yeah. one of these boys. That's it. Uh, hey, bro, you hit these? Yeah, the IPS. Right, hey, babe, yeah, um, one. hey, babe, grab the other one. The, um, yeah, so grab me the fat tire. And the other one, bring that boy out there. Yeah, yeah. Hey, matter of fact, shout out to the IPA bar. You had um a young lady on one of your songs. She yeah, was like, she shouted out the IPA. She was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. IP. Yeah, what does he say? Twist the IPA. IPA. I, I, you talking about uh, yeah. oh, everything's good? Yeah, man. I gotta yeah. pause this shit. Right That's, uh, matter of fact, let me shout her out. Um, on that song, that was uh Nani Layla, man. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Nani Layla. Twist this IPA. Hey, I go crazy. Crazy, yeah. Yeah, I, hey, she went crazy. She went crazy on that bitch. She did, though. She did her fucking thing yeah. on that bitch. She went crazy, bro. So the story behind that song is a whole nother wave, too, though. We'll talk about it. Man, I'm trying to tell you, hey, so much waves with this. Hey, space board. I'm yeah. trying to tell you, we ain't on this earth, bro. I am not a human being. Just vibing, man. Hey, I'm telling you, hey, I, I was listening to one of your tracks, and I was like, yo, 
I'm like, because I really want to figure out your inspiration because we, matter of fact, you yeah. you back, so I kind of want to stay on the the, the, the John. The what? whole Eaton building, the yeah. whole black yeah. John. Oh, whole yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm just no, trying no, to no, no, out. babe. This John, this one. Bring me this. It's somewhere in the bag. Because this one already opened. Okay. Nah, yeah. Bring me oh, the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's a wine. But yeah, man. Yeah. But King definitely, Hill, bro. Yeah, that. that's it's so many. You know what I'm saying? It's man. It's so, so like, how, how does that, that feel? Because like I said, um, a lot of people in America, they always say it's hard to have confidence. They say, bro, you from you from the islands. You from this. It's easy to kind of you feel me, Empress. You got some tapes. I know you don't like. Oh, matter of fact, nah, they can't see him. He green. What's up? Nah, awesome. um, <laughs> <That's perfect. laughs> because it's green, it goes with the green screen. Oh, where? Can't see the brand. Yeah. Facts. Awesome. Um. But yes, Eatonville, where, where y'all at with the conversation? Well, he was saying like how I feel like coming from that place. Like, I'm saying like us as islanders, right? We always, well, we always hear Americans say it's harder to kind of identify with anything because it's not their country. Mm -hmm. But they don't understand that this is their country and they got they got places to embody with that power, but they just want to be in they shit. Mm -hmm. So like with him being actually in the soil and actually knowing that this shit was here and knowing that some black people went and did some shit, that right there should already like you feel me be yeah, some like, type hey, of, and that's what we're lie. talking about with this critical race theory mm -hmm, like yeah. it's like their whole intent is to do something good by informing you like hey yes racism is this let's acknowledge it woo -de -woo. but it's like what you're what that means is i'm about to tell you how you're inferior in this system yeah. and push you down some more mentally <laughs> so you think you can't get out of this hey right? so Fact. instead of telling me about eatonville instead of telling me about durham north carolina you want to tell Oklahoma, me about Rosewood, laws Florida, that are against me exactly. i don't care I don't about no on that. That. Yo, yeah. we have nah, i think i Go think ahead, honestly bro like coming from there and learning all of that as you get older type mm -hmm. shit like i knew it growing up Right. But the responsibility of it don't come unless it's maturity there. Mm -hmm. So once you begin, like like nowadays, like I think about that shit, like damn, that's that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like man, if if this <laughs> the first place that everybody was at, you know what I'm saying? Like bro, and that's that anything trying, I do, I gotta make it mean something. Type I'm trying shit. to figure out like where you're from because we usually get this vibe from like a northern state so yeah. the fact that you're saying eatonville it's like well it's the same thing all those spirits have touched down there so yeah. you're around the energy and the synergy to create this type of music and i just want to congratulate you because this music is it, it has its own unique sound but it's universal at the same Damn, time thank and you thank that you, in itself just attracts me i'm like oh yes this is it this hey, is the sound you about to get into that because that's why i was asking that. about culture that. over art Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah, and, and I'm, I, I'm, I'm I'm trying to ask him, did he run into a roadblock with that? Yet? We still on Eatonville. Mm -hmm. But wait, really yeah. quick, with the culture and art, is yeah. culture more so like principles and culture art from is... down here? Like, yeah. so like if if you from this area, we thought like because like the vibe that he got is the vibe that we feel like is the, co the culture, right? With the samples mm -hmm. type vibe. Yes, for sure. Okay, cool. But the culture that makes it out of here is killing, yeah. robbing. Yeah. That type of culture, Glorifying and then the people. art is the art. Where it's mm -hmm. like somebody like Moot Boy. We always say, "Man, Moot Boy, one of the top niggas." Like, why yeah. did he go? And it's just the culture versus the art. But yeah. when Moot Boy was rapping, Armstrong, like, bro, I'm telling you, if Armstrong was in this generation, he would have went because yeah. he had the whole culture behind him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did. You feel me? So I, I, I'm trying to figure out: Did you ever run into that roadblock right now? Like, as because. I, nah, honestly, bro, like, cause, cause, cause you got like a little vibe, and that's why I was saying you gotta change the culture. I'm trying to stay and make I'm it, not. yeah, because the culture nah, that you like, go in. Like my thing about it is like, right, mm -hmm. it's shit. Like it's the shit. This it's a sound out there always. This is always the thing. This is how I look at music, right? Like, mm -hmm. Especially when I'm creating for real, because it's, it's a sound out there, bro. It sounds of the past that's already in people's head. Some of them samples. Is the reason why half of the songs we like it's, from, it's that's so on the hard. radio mm -hmm. it's because it's double tapping you on some shit you liked already mm -hmm. <laughs> um wakisha money bag yo just dropped why we like it so much because we know he remixed that motherfucking ashanti beat that mm -hmm. go back to another remix of who mary it's j or news. somebody mm -hmm. you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. so that's like three four different generations of samples mm -hmm. but that's one way to make a good record mm -hmm. now how I see music today is it's it's a sound out there, right? And that's always gonna be the relevancy of right now. 
Okay. If your goal is right now, you're going to make shit that sound like right now. Okay. Okay. But if your goal is the trend set and, and set a set some shit, a new sound or, or be unique or be yourself and not sound like what's out there and go against the grain, it might take you a little bit longer, but it's worth it because you generating something that's different. People going to like that shit because it's different mm -hmm. or especially if you got a vibe for real. Now, I ain't saying they're going to like it because it's weird. Facts. But if it got a vibe and it and it can go, it can make people feel good, make people dance or or groove. Why not keep up with that instead of trying to fucking keep up with some shit that ain't even gonna last because the wave continues to change. Mm -hmm. That's you cannot thing. chase right now, bro, because the wave continues to change. So no, I'm not trying to sound like none of these niggas. I like it. It mm -hmm. sounds dope it's on the facts. radio and and all of that, but. It don't fuck with me because whenever it comes time for me to write all of that shit out my head, right. I got this. It's me, this instrumental, and how I'm finna make this shit be the best thing I can make it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and right. I know my best, my best shit came from me being me, not trying to sound like nobody else. So I guess honestly, that's truly the conflict most artists have because they get to that point like damn. I'm trying to go viral. All right. So what you right. gonna do then? Okay. Is you gonna make another song like you, or you gonna make a song that sound like them? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make one that sound like me, and I hope that bitch go viral. But if it don't, you might go viral for me because you did one for that sound like what's relevant. It's all but about how long that shit lasts. Like some it's, people are here it's for longevity. the trend, and then yes, it's longevity. longevity. I'm here for longevity. That's mm -hmm. what it is. The game is longevity. I'm here for longevity. So nah, man, all of that. All of that shooter nigga, all of that gang bang, it don't bother me at all. Like I'm I can hear you, it because once that group that was you know into that grows up, they see death, they see jail, they see all that stuff. They're over this, and then Think they grow about up. It. And every like, nigga, Bro, every nigga we it. like, we watch them mature and talk about the shit differently. Right. Even Gucci man don't talk about trapping the same no more. Jeezy stopped talking about that shit like that. Now it's sugar coated and like elevated mm -hmm. to a sense of making you want to get on your ball shit too. Facts. Like it's different. Like Jay Z gonna kick that shit to you a, a whole different level than just saying, "Hey, I was on the block slinging rocks." No, nigga, he finna give you the whole rundown of how the block look. What that nigga shirt said yes. went that walk past him. <laughs> I'm talking about he gonna put you in the scene. But that's the thing that made hip hop different than today. You know what I'm saying? Today it don't take much. It's about catching up with the attention span and sticking with it. If that shit yep. go with some shit that they can click on and it keep them locked in for a brief little second, they fought with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Instead that's why people being... sell their whole their whole image, their whole career off of one song. Now they now when that one song blow up, if you ain't a tough guy, now you gotta be a tough guy everywhere you go. Man. That shit gotta be fucking annoying, bro. Because like this ain't what you out here for. Like you it's really not, be trying bro. to make some music. It's not. But we got clean examples, bro. Like I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like Takashi, he I feel like he was a normal person trying to act tough for the for the quick clout. And when it got big, it was too big. And you see how that shit unraveled, bro. Mm -hmm. He brought down a whole organization of people. Empress, you had a question? Yeah. Uh, he did that. Hey, I want to play this though, cause we're just talking about grow up, just some random stuff. Yeah. 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 gotta grow up. Thugs gotta grow up. OG set a better example. Got fed up, getting fed off of canned foods. Incredible out of cheddar, I ran through a few handfuls. They on them sands till they can't move. A grand for my shoes, feel like a damn fool. But you can't see me what I can and can't do. Rebellion sometimes it probably come off as negative. Quiet sometimes, rather you think I'm dumb than intelligent. Never been hesitant, the first to ride. Certified. In the streets ain't nothing worse than pride. It's a drop that mean they work the pride. 36 to 35, now with the 30, call it a 39, a dirty can. All they know is swerve, but I ain't never serving grand. But I can't blame what came up just like this fight. Getting indicted, that's our midlife that crisis. Cost a loud night and lose a shoot of dice. Thugs gotta grow up. Thugs gotta grow up. Hey, but say OG set up better examples. You feel me? Like, bro, we can't, like, bro, we can't be doing the same shit. Like I said, we're not in here being holy than thou because look, bro, we all came through this path where we all had, you feel me, had to live a life where we'll look back and be like, man, I was tripping. 
You feel me? But we gotta, we gotta get to the, we gotta get to the point that it's things gotta mean more to us, bro. And I see a lot of people they don't really take pride in that. And I, and you know, I, I hear you keep on stressing about remaining yourself and this and that. So like, how did you get that awareness to where it's like, okay, I don't even gotta worry about because I always try to show people the example, like, bro. If you're signed to a label, they're taking all this money, bro. All you got to do is make them out this for doing shows, bro, and you're making more than them. Facts. You know, and people want to be famous instead of actually get to the bag. Yeah. That's so, like, good. how did you get that idea to be like, man, you know what? I ain't even chasing all that fame and all that weird stuff. Like, I'm just going to be me. And when people catch on to it, they catch on to it. Like, like because I, I'm seeing you continuously grinding. You were telling me earlier that a, a year ago is when you put your foot down, really. Yeah. So, like, like what is that like where is that energy coming from what did you realize like what like what's actually going on like honestly like i had dropped you know what i'm saying like enough music to where i felt like i had a pretty good vibe that i had put out there at a certain point you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so you know after that um i just I, I had to look at things on a more serious note, especially if I was choosing to step out there and like take it serious. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, because that's when the business part come in. How like, long have you been doing it? Um, I officially been out now almost a year and a half. Mm. I put my okay. first song out on my birthday so, like, last you are, year. You weren't doing anything as a child with music? Nah. No instruments or anything? Nah. I just always love music. I mean, literally, probably could rap it. every song off the so radio like, to type who, shit. Who inspired you to kind of yeah. like? What artists would you say inspired you to kind of get into this game and you know to rap? Do, yeah. Um, to be honest, man, nobody. I think I just had the passion for it, like to take like freestyling with your homies. You realize you're dope after some point and you want to take it serious even though nobody else in that circle that's freestyling does mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and i think once i started to see myself do that um i knew i can especially with the compliments of my music that i was getting from people I, it yeah. just gave me more courage and more um energy to want to do it type shit. and um just people telling me I had a lot to talk about, you know what I'm saying? Just knowing my life and shit like that. And mm -hmm. my cousins and my family just that does music as well. I got a, a, a whole, like I got, shouts out to like Yadro Cartel, Royal Ronnie J, um, my cousin Bias, those those three artists, well, those three people, period. You know what I'm saying? Those my cousins. All of us been around each other, period, just in, in, influencing each other. Mm -hmm. um, a few of my other cousins, like the genius, and those they had a few um, interactions as far as being a part of the business to to um, let us see them doing their thing, mm -hmm. to show me a couple of different ways to hustle physically out here. Like they literally was pulling up on people with the trunk open, like Master P with their CDs and <laughs> shit, like G shit. For real, yeah. So I got a chance to see people really working for it a little bit. So that's exposure. That's super important. Yeah. Um, not only that though. I mean, yeah, just watching the industry. Period. I ain't gonna give that credit to a single artist because right. I'm literally not tapped in with the mainstream industry right now mm -hmm. um, because I have an independent artist show. So I listen to a lot of indie music. Right. So. Um, as far as artists go, man, um, people who I think dope, um, or think, not even, not a rock, who would you, who are you looking to collaborate with that you would say? Is yes. Okay. Um, shit. Thinking about longevity, let's see. Um, I'll do a song with Drake. I'll do a song. I don't really want features from nobody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, don't, I don't really want features from industry artists but if right. i if i did do them i'm gonna make sure that they hit so, so i'm like, gonna go with drake about, like go, kendrick for sure for sure i'm willing to collab with anybody but mm -hmm. 
I'm not seeking it type shit. Right. Like okay. I'm trying to create my own vibe first. Your own um, yeah, because I don't want to, I don't want an artist to feel like they put me they on. Made you. Mm -hmm. But that ain't yeah. even that, that ain't insecurity. That's just me yet. willing to work for it. You know right. what I'm saying? Like I'm willing to work hard to get my shit out there and build my own buzz hey, and my own. And thing. explain to them why it's so important because you've been telling me all day is because you want to give back. Yeah, you, know what I mean? yeah, you don't facts. want your message to get tainted. You have a message. Exactly. That's the main reason why you're it, not trying to work with everybody. Nah, facts. And I can't just work with everybody because I'm not on the same vibe as everybody else is. It's got it got to be right for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I got to hear that shit. That shit got to feel good to me to, for me to want to be on it because mm -hmm. I don't like going to the studio wasting time. If it's not gonna be a potential hit, I'm not gonna record it. Man. That's just Thanks. period. Like it's honestly. Cost effective. <laughs> hey, and hey, look, and that's confidence, right? Yeah, that's confidence and just I don't know, I guess chance. Hey, it's like I'm on taking this, a chance on these shit. On this cast, we always talk about incantations, right? So mm -hmm. that's that's meaning like oh, could you talk about manifestation and the way you manifest things yeah. by incantations. Right? Rituals is what they are called, right? So you do things so you said that you took it serious a year and a half ago, so you have been rapping like it, oh yeah, I've been rapping. You're no longer for like, taking a chance now. You're actually putting yourself in yeah. the wheel of karma. No, eventually, facts, it's gonna facts. be your turn. That's what you feel I'm me. At. That's, that's the I'm thing about life, nigga. That's eventually, it's gonna it. be your turn. But if you don't put yourself in that wheel of karma, you could never get that that manifestation that you wish for because all you did was just throw it out there. Like, yeah, I'm gonna be the best rapper, but you don't yeah, rap though, bro. Exactly. And you, you feel me? And if you ain't, if you not truly out there chasing it, you not gonna manifest it. Like, that's just true. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like um overall it's just like just learning you know what i'm saying just learning period keeping your mind open not thinking that you know too much or you know everything or just understanding you can't do it by yourself anyway it take a village you know what i'm saying it take a true Relax. village you gotta have real support what's the quote babe? you know what i'm saying go alone go fast go together go far mm -hmm. that's an african proverb man you gotta have real support like like real support like it literally takes a village that's to what, make a and start. That's what the next wave is. You have to have that occult following, like they always say. It's like, man, where are these people at? But like, yeah. every time these people see each other, it's like they know, they know them by their fruit, bro. And mm -hmm. it just, it's an automatic synergy created. It's thing, like, bro, and that's the thing. This. The same look. The same way somebody can walk in the room pissed off and change the energy of the room is the same way a person can walk in the room smiling and change the energy of a room Facts. full of pissed off people you get what i'm saying it's just about what we want in the moment mm -hmm. so whatever's in shooting niggas blah 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 whatever if that's in that's in if it's time to dance we're gonna have soldier boy records mm -hmm. type shit if it's time to party we're gonna have all types of EDM type fucking and shit sounding. <laughs> Come on, like we know the vibe. So, and that's the tone for the world. You got to think about music uh -huh. in that way. Cause nigga, right. that's whatever is relevant in music. That's overall how the world feeling right then in the moment. And that's what, cause it's all about emotions and energy, bro. Like if somebody, if that, if a number one hit sync, like, like Rod Wave, Tombstone, everybody felt that shit. It became the number one song in the world. Why? Because everybody had to feel like that at the same time to make this record go crazy. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what makes <laughs> that bitch stick forever. Hey, and what they do sometimes is they force it on you because like, they tell you about the Cardi B. Like I said, this is what artists do, but they say that the Cardi B, they kept on playing, they kept on playing, they kept on playing it. The Lil Nas X, yeah. they kept on playing it, they yeah. kept on playing it, they kept on playing it. It's a couple of different methods. So you feel me? Keep it in your head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but but some songs just it's organic, it's organically, like forever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody feels, and it. that's Universal. the shit. Like that's what I'm chasing. I'm chasing them types of songs. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. whoever I create with, or if it's even if it's me creating by myself, that's what I have in the back of my head while I'm trying to create that hook or while I'm trying to write this verse because i want it to sound like it's supposed to when somebody finna hear that shit for the first time on the radio mm -hmm. when i walk out of here that's what quality i'm trying to have in my car so when i go jump in my car and i listen to it mm -hmm. i can hear it from a fan's perspective i can critique it be a true fan for a second of my own shit because i do feel like you know what i'm saying i can i got the potential to make some great songs like for the world like 
once I get to that point. You know what I'm so saying? So right now, like, what's in your playlist? Top five songs you listening to right now? Um, I ain't gonna cap. Damn, this this playlist diverse as fuck. Okay, so I got Revolution, Good Times. That's the Roots Reggae record. Mm-hmm. I got Bob Marley, Exodus. <laughs> That's a reggae record. <laughs> um, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I like Billy Eilish. Mm-hmm. That everything I wanted. That's my vibe. <laughs> I fought with that vibe. Yeah. I fought with that vibe. It it's just the, it's it just it, just, it, it take my it take my head like to a place that I know I can do whatever the fuck I put my mind to. As long as I'm so it's that's, fantasy. That's it t- yeah, right. yeah. It's, it, it get it make you it make you leave your body for a mm-hmm. second and just really try to see where you trying to manifest type shit. So okay, that that's three. Mm-hmm. Um, that's four actually. Well, yeah, yeah. What yeah, what I said? You, you got the Bob Marley, the Bob, the, the Revolution, and the Revolution. And revolution, good time. Hold on, Revolution was good time. Okay, okay. So that's three. So okay, three. Um, you say five, mm-hmm. two, two more. <laughs> um, shit. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh at the top by Corey Leroy right now, cause that shit hard with, <laughs> with Kodak, and I can feel that chorus cause it say at the top it get lonely, cause it do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, number five. Shit, oh man, I'm going to go with Sade, Cherish the Day. Yeah, I like that. Wait, Sade what? Church? Cherish the Day. I need to look out. Smooth vibe. Yeah. Real deal, smooth vibe. Like You're going to listen to that bit about three, four times. Oh, me and him have the same kind of taste. I like that. <laughs> but I don't listen to, I don't listen to rap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that, I like to rap if song. if I would have said any rap artist though, I probably got a little bit of little baby on us, some Drake. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm fucking with Polo G right now. I like his music. Uh, I like uh the baby. He's straight. You know what I'm saying? Um, Money Bag. He all right. I like the cover songs from Bruh. I like uh, I'm I'm fucking with Kodak. I got a lot of Kodak on my shit too. You're not rocking with Gates. Um, yeah, I fuck with Gates. I ain't gonna lie, the old Gates though. I like the old Gates, like right, like, like them Gates. first two uh, Luca Brazis. Well, them bitches was hard as fuck. Yeah, no yeah, cap, song yeah. for song, you can Paint go let that bit yeah, play. That's my favorite uh, yeah, go ahead. If we just gonna go like for real playlist type shit, just what I'm listening to overall. I got some Andre Three Stacks in that bit. Outcast, all of the old school Outcast on my shit. I got um. Shit, let me see where I'm going. I, I, don't, I don't know. I just tapped in with that nigga Tyler, the creator. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I like his new shit. Oh, his new shit. His new shit hard. I, I like his new shit. New Ski Mask, um, Juice World. Um, I'm fucking with all of them, nigga. Mac Miller. I fuck with a lot of Mac Miller shit. Mac Miller is dope. You okay. know what I'm saying? Um, I'm Mac. I repeat all of these people too, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? G shit. Hey, I have a question for you about that because I hear you reference it a lot about spirituality and things of that nature. Um, yeah. Like, where would you say you kind of get your spiritual information from? Are you going in books? Are you on YouTube? Um, nah, I'm disconnected from any actual logical way of speaking on this shit. Uh-huh. I literally just live on energy. So, what you're saying that. I don't want to use the term, but like, like I'm, I'm the just most, not knowledgeable. The most high I call you something like a Nazarite or something like a Rasta, where you're just doing things that's innate to you. Yeah, you're living with nature. Yeah, whatever come to you, it's like I. Yeah, and I and, and I just I, yeah, and I just try to make sure that I got my vibe right. You okay. know what I'm saying, and protect my energy, so that way, um, whenever you do meet people, you know you. They re- they remember you, not just your face, bro. They remember your energy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like one thing that was clutch about you know me um, doing music was um, having the chance to get my voice out there. But not only that, um, dropping videos and shit and putting my face out there with it. You know what I'm saying? So that way they can see this person who has this vibe or come into one of my shows and see who I am for real. Cause I'm. It's just literally I'm being I've been being just being me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just vibe, just really just vibing, really, bro. Like just waking up, knowing I'm trying to make some shit happen. Whatever opportunities come from that manifestation, it's on the table. I attack them shits. You know what I'm saying? Like fuck it. 
every one of them bitch, every time i every chance i get you know what i'm saying it's gonna be down times and shit, but for the most part it's on blitz you know art is super important to us so everything you're saying right now bro is like god i'm saying you like you're like i said bro the most i say your spirit walk before you bro so when you meet people or when sometimes you decide not to do things or you say yo i showed up early that's how the spirit walks the spirit walks before you don't even know why you show up early but you show up early you catch a vibe you're like oh shit, i vibe with bro and then you feel me shit, yeah. you feel me everything is done for a reason bro and that's how the archaic man used to look at things yeah whenever something used to happen back in the days a motherfucker used to look at something and they used to say okay boom the most i want me to do this they never was like man this shit just fell down they're like okay the most i don't want us to live in this house we was nomadic back then in a yeah. sense where it was like okay let's just move yeah you feel me when when the hurricanes or anything weird came through we just it, moved i think it's better that way too it's Come less on. complicated bro like that's but i'm gonna say this um, i think that way of life bro is only for the people who've truly found their purpose like if you if you found what you truly feel like you love and what you want to do and what you're here for then you know what you're supposed to do facts facts which means that it's no schematic way to put that shit together at that point you kind gotta unravels it's, itself because you gotta manifest that shit mm -hmm. Cause you don't start off with all of the tools you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like that's just bro, they were saying bare that. minimum you got to be like, humble bro, type how do you shit. think these white people start these businesses they don't just start at the corporation they Hell start no. the garage. yeah they start they start <laughs> they start small my i mean listen most of the that's the crazy part most of the songs people um ended up like making big from me was probably recorded in a bathroom or in somebody's bedroom like nigga, we was making that shit happen, bro. No matter what, like we we had the equipment, we set that shit up, bro, mm -hmm. and we recorded. Whether we had to do that shit in the middle of the living room, while people playing the game, all types of shit, you don't even hear it in the songs. But those would be the ones that they'd be like, dog, put that, play that again. Hey, I don't play think that again. I don't think people understand because Come straight from the mud. The music is one. Thing right the music one thing but then you explain like how sometimes you come and you say yo i got to give it a visual because i want them to see how i'm giving yeah. it up in this yeah. mode bro that's yeah. super important because that bro is. i'm telling you it'll be songs that i'm not rocking with bro and i go watch the video and the video damn it hypnotize me because the video will be so good that i'm not yeah. liking the song because i'm like some hmm. some songs should come I'm out like this shit. some songs should come out with the video anyway mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like the visuals are key yeah because that's literally what makes some songs good because without that visual or them like acting out what the fuck they saying you won't really get it right. you know what i'm saying nowadays hip-hop like hip-hop is different nowadays bro you know what i'm saying like from from the, the video aspect to the actual sound bites just what's re what's hot what's not you know the things that's gonna be and and the shit that fall out okay so it's just like i don't know bro i feel like where i am i just want to i want to create what 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 i know i'm going through and i just want to push it out to the world it's me you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. i don't want to partake in none of the bullshit because i'm gonna just do my i'm gonna vibe my way regardless like i'm gonna do me you know what I'm saying like so I I don't feel like I'm in competition with nobody because I can't be it's only mm -hmm. one me <laughs> it's only one me that's the when you realize that nobody can do you better than you can do you and you make doing you something that people want to see then you've cracked the fucking code you are wow. you that's what artists is trying to do Come that's what it's that's what man. every artist every entertainer every person of a value to a TV or a motherfucking camera view that's yeah. what they're trying to do is yeah. make doing being them look think about you it just went crazy if you can if going. you can be yourself bro mm -hmm. and make a million dollars just for fucking waking up who's gonna complain about that shit? hey the other day me and my homeboy had an arm argument he's an artist shout out to brother Rosie. but anyway the brother he was telling me he was saying yo t time is money Mm -mm. I see I've been waiting to debate somebody about that because that's crazy. <laughs> that's wicked. You feel me? Because look, the way you just explained it is how I look, bro. 
I, I, I was telling my wife when we, just now when we was walking back, I was like, I, um, she made a joke. She was like, she was, she was like, his name Space Boy. He should understand. And I was just making a joke about, yeah, my spaceship was down because I was just talking about my truck. And oh, I was yeah. just saying, the type of vibe that we are, we're starting <laughs> to see time how important it is. Yeah. I tell people this, bro. If you're telling me angels have wings, they're pointless because they're birds. <laughs> Bro, time is important. I just get there, right? Yeah. The most important shit is to be there. To so be I would there, just teleport yeah. there. Like yeah. right now, Bob Marley is here. You feel me? And that's what I was saying. Yeah. Like even when you were speaking on him, it's like, bro, he did what he led out to do, bro. Yeah. Reggae was the first international music. I always explain that to people. Bro, if you listen Facts. to the Bob Marley, nah, bars, it was. That's what. That's what jazz. That's what the blues. That's where hip hop come <laughs> from. Hip hop come from reggae, bro. Yo, it all started. From this one little idea where it was like, yo, let's just praise the most high. No cap. I'm I telling mean, you, bro, a lot of rock. That's a fact, bro. Yeah. Even the biggest hip hop had to tell you that hip hop came from reggae, bro. Bro, they're all explaining to you. I'm telling you. The jazz, the blues, all of that shit came from reggae. Hey, it's been coming out now where they tell you a lot of the artists. They yeah. tell you all these artists. They like, yo, that brother right there came from this, bro. Um, Belafonte, Belafonte, yeah. one banana, two banana, two. <laughs> bro. I didn't even know that was the um, the 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 the, the shit that um, Lil Wayne them did, Lil yeah. Wayne and um, yeah, Corey Gunn. Yeah, they remix. That's, that's what they, the, yeah, that's what they remix. Man, bro, I yeah. ain't know that shit. But I'm yeah. telling you, bro, when you get into the art, it makes sense why they get you. Like you were just yeah. explaining it, like, bro, imagine somebody playing that Ashanti and shit that we kind of grew up on and kind of heard that vibe, or like yeah. playing the pop sample. You can't play any of these. You samples gotta understand that why it resonated, bro. Like you gotta, all right, like you said, bro. Some things go for the culture, bro. Mm -hmm. And like some of these songs go for the culture. Mm -hmm. Think about it, a Kanye gold digger. That's culture. That's culture. You can't take that away. That's culture. Ludicrous move, bitch. Okay. Get out of the way. I see the That's way culture. around it because I was asking them. You know bro. what I'm saying? That's culture because it's like that was a time, bro. Like in hip hop, that was a t when Gold Nigga dropped. When you go, you go back to that, or even through the wire. Just go to go back to through the wire, bro. For Kanye, first song came out. That was a time in hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Him, Fifty Cent doing the whole battle. Who gonna get the most Cent. sales? That was the time. Andre Three Stacks walking on that stage saying the South got something to say. Bro. 95 at the Source Awards. That was the time, nigga. That, see, you know, so every moment gets stamped with certain moments. So uh -huh. especially if you're one of them artists that made one of them timeless records. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, <laughs> Through the Wire can get played right now on every radio station. They don't matter. Yo, you know what I'm saying? g -shit. You just cracked the formula. Besides the fact that, like I said, me Kanye was running with some New York niggas though when he got signed. So I think that's still a key where maybe you have to move to where the energy's at. Because I'm saying like, yeah, but what you just said though, I kind of thought of something. Because like I always ask people, I say, bro, how did Kendrick Lamar do it? Because Kendrick Lamar is rapping conscious, but like he's still the biggest artist in a sense. You want to know and how he did went, it? He went bigger than his own coach. He went cultural. You want to know how he did Go it? Go in. This is how he did it. He was still able to be himself, mm -hmm. but kick out a couple of records that they can vibe to. It that's did what, not matter about the relevancy of sound. That's what I'm telling you. Because he was you. still being Kendrick Lamar, <laughs> even when he gave you that different shit than him rapping over a beat, giving you that flow. He gave you some vibey shit with a little auto on that bitch and, and a bitch don't kill my vibe. Oh shit, that's still Kendrick though. Hey. You can't say it sounded like nobody else but Kendrick. Hey, and then you and you you get what I'm saying. Hey, and you also explained it as when this. you expose a new level of your creativity, bro. That's you setting the wave. You set a wave, so it becomes the sound of and relevancy of today. So Chief Keith comes out on like. The rest of Chicago drops drill music. Now we all love it. You get what I'm saying? It's a time. Migos start flowing the way they flow. Now almost every other artist done damn near mimic they shit. Young Thug done mimic Wayne. Wayne done mimicked other T Pain. T Pain originated the tune, mm -hmm. but still got it from Zapp and Rogers from back in the day. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So it's like, bro, it's a time for it. You know what I'm saying? Like once you set that bar with that certain sound, with that certain song, and that big go stupid viral, everybody loving it. It's forever in the history of hip hop. Yo, even doper than that, you already explained it to me, OG. 
bro, if the song is just cultural, like yeah. I, I was saying, it has to be a culture of whatever state you're in. Yeah. But you just showed me the vibe where it's like, no, no, no. It's nah, a nah. global thing. Yeah, bro. if it's global, because bitch don't kill my vibe, it's a vibe. Vibe everywhere it ain't no it ain't no hood it don't matter what you, you can't <laughs> say like bro i'm fucking that. why you why you why you don't with, with it you know what I'm saying? like <laughs> come on bro like it's just like it's it's like certain songs yeah it, where you from it, it's gonna be it'll everything go. it'll go fast. but 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 think about it we also know artists that's big to us because we know of them here mm -hmm. but uh, they can go to other states that's like and nobody is facts, facts so it's like a Kendrick though he done made a song that's on the level to where we talking billboards and you know it's a whole diverse crowd it's not just about those hood areas no more because it ain't no fucking gang banging shoot them up song it's a bitch don't kill my vibe I'm trying to chill relax type shit hey whole different vibe and either we can say it's the best or the worst that's neither hidden you feel me but what they tell you is the market that's watching so what you have to do you have to understand how to entertain yeah so it's a lot of good rappers that may Facts. not get the same energy but they they amazing rappers but they just don't entertain the kids like i always think about kevin gates and i and i and i say why a lot of kids don't like kevin gates is because the words are big like the, yeah. the way he explained things is like i fuck with gates though. you feel me the way he explained things to a lot of kids it's like oh that don't really mean nothing to me like one time he was saying nigga he was thinking about turning this property to a shell like it's just like all that shit like motherfucker just like yeah. man this bullshit man they ain't talking about hanging yeah. out you feel me nah, so yeah i get it but that that's the youth man like more than anything it's the youth like, and that's what they push so like do you think that we have a response because like the music you make bro and i tell you like a lot, a lot of the artists that we bring on the show and we shout out bro they make that same type music bro where they have to take responsibility bro facts, facts, you feel me bro facts. and you have a range of music like where you will jump in this bag you will jump in this bag but it's your vibe bro yeah exactly because my goal ain't to look a certain way from telling you about hard things okay, okay. just because i went through hard things don't make me this hard shell Trying of a be, person mm -hmm. nah i just been through shit too just like you so the thing is is that when I kick you this shit, I'm going to kick it to you, letting you know that it was a time that I wasn't really liking that shit like that. And I knew I deserved better. Right. It ain't about me trying to keep your head stuck in that position. Because, oh, yeah, I could, I could leave it at, oh, look, just just think of this simple simple bar. It's like, I so dope. Mm -hmm. That range of where you can take that is up to you. Mm -hmm. You could say, I so dope. And I'm finna go re up, mm -hmm. or you could say I sold dope, and I'm finna fucking be a business owner mm -hmm. now because I changed my life. But that was a pivot moment in, in my life that I did need mm -hmm. to speak on for a second, because at the end of the day, when you're going through your shit, you got to be open and willing to talk about it all. Like that don't make you a, a street nigga or a, t or a tough guy or a, or a game banger just because you done been through some things so you should be able to tell your life without trying to propose some fucking image that just don't exist in your character if you i'm a chill nigga you know what i'm saying like for me to sit here oh rah 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 all of that crazy ass shit that's that's that's, that's <laughs> what I, that's the clout i'm i'm cooling bro you feel me like i'm really just chilling so it's like okay what i'm trying to say is is like if i it's all about what you portray bro you know what i'm saying like if you portray that image that you a hardcore gangster, then people ain't gonna expect no love songs about you. <laughs> people ain't gonna expect no none of them songs of you getting sentimental and talking about your feelings. Why would you shut that out from the world when that's everything that's finna make them love you? Man, bro, I'm telling you, right? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's everything that's everything you've been through. People want to hear about that shit. They don't want to just know about this one part of your life that you lived because what happens when you're doing better? 20 years in the game, you still going to be talking about selling dope? No, nigga, I've been in the game for 20 years, bro. I got bread on bread on bread. <laughs> I haven't drove past the hood and down there three years. No cap. Yo, bro. Nigga, like, we really, like, trying to do better type shit, like, Nigga, this is what this shit about. So it's like, bro, I just want to be able to get my shit out, let them know how I felt about it, about my situations, and keep it pushing to the next vibe, bro.
however I'm feeling in the moment, wherever that beat take me, it take me to a memory of what the fuck I done been through. I write what I done been through and I create my own vibe. I don't even be worried about none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Once it's out there, it's out there, bro. Like, and I just hope that that shit go to as many as it is that need it. Bro, what you just said, bro. Touch on two points. The first thing is, bro, I explained how when I watched Drink Champs, that was my first time really rocking with Ja Rule. Yeah. I remember back in the day listening to Ja Rule music, but like really hearing them on there. And that's what I'm saying. I love long form podcasts, bro. I like when you get to sit down and really hear the art. I don't really like the music good, but the music gonna speak for itself. It's yeah, like facts. it's like dope, but you don't really sell it. You just let that bit go out there. We gonna see. You feel me? Yeah. When you get on the the, the, the the podcast scene and you get on anything else, bro, people want to see your personality, bro. That's yeah. how you keep fans for life. When they like, man, I vibe with bro. Bro came from yeah. this, and I was saying like. The thing that I think is important about you, and like I was saying, like even when I became, you feel me? I don't really like using the word conscious because people using it too much. But like when I started studying and trying to get on the knowledge and stuff, I was like, yo, the main thing I don't want to do is become square, because that's what we mess up at, right? Yeah. We we change the image of being smart, so we get smart and and, and, and have this image of like. Yo, I gotta dress like this now that I'm smart. Instead of just keeping that same image with a little just like, oh, I identify with that. Yeah. I could give it up like that. And you feel me? But 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 the way but the way we kind of throw it out there, the younger just they like, man, I can't really vibe with that. That nigga lame. That nigga square. Instead of you feel me? Instead of just giving it up like you gave it up, but just nah, being that, like, I ain't on that type of time. That's just like, how they is, bro. Their attention span beyond what they feel like is relevant to them. It's okay. like, see, and that's the that's what you learn like when you get into like streaming right mm -hmm. like when you get into streaming dog like at that point you start to realize like what type of crowds you touching what type of fans listening to your music what gender they is what countries they in what states they in what age groups they in right mm -hmm. now the age group part is from like 13 or let's just say like 11 to like 15 bro mm -hmm. well let's skip that 11 to like 17. okay those are the most valuable listeners to have a stream inside this 100 fact and that's what i was saying about you the get age. what i'm saying yeah, so, so you gotta entertain you gotta think about why the music sound the way it does nowadays mm -hmm. um because it's a lot of kids that's, that's mostly the supporters and buyers so if they like you then your shit gonna go <laughs> like so you know whatever the vibe is like uh you know a little uzi or trippy red or or anything like that it's just like those vibes relate more with that age group i feel you it's not more so about the song anymore it's just about what crowds tapping in more mm -hmm. when they get the streaming because that's how you get paid the main thing I was saying. So that's why people make them quick little boom booms that sound like what's relevant to tap in because they need them listeners. It's that streaming shit is a hustle, bro. You know what I'm saying? So that was that's what some artists be willing to do some shit that they don't really want to do just to get that. And some artists say, man, now nah, I'm finna control my content. And so that's a perfect segue then, because if you're giving it up like that, bro. How how are you going about controlling your content in this simple instant in a sense? Are you making any investments as far as yeah. like stocks, crypto, um, just anything? I made, as far some, as I, I made some physical. Estate. I made physical investments. Okay, like, as far as into like, your art. Yeah, like I mean, of course, always through my music, but outside of that, just creating merch. And okay, okay. I sure. have I have clothes and stuff like that as well. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Um, but I invite the merch mostly is like where it's at, man. Um, it's been doing pretty good. Okay. People so been fucking with it. So I started to invest into that. I mean, that's like a legit, uh, I mean, a legit flip. You know what I'm so saying? So you, um, you look anywhere into like the NFTs because I heard the NFTs hot. Like, what's your thoughts on anything with NFTs? Are you heard anything? I about think, that? I think, honestly, the NF from what I've seen, I don't know much, mm -hmm. but from what I've seen, um, it's looking like it could be a good thing because um Facts. it's ownership mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. anything of ownership gonna sound good to me as long as uh 
like I said, like in this music industry too, just for me, the only thing that I fear is a bad deal. That's yeah, and that's yeah, facts, facts. And and, and that's, that's what I was it. saying. As far as the way you're making your music, I was saying how are you looking at signing art right? like is that one of your goals or like are you trying to just do it independent and you feel me like what's your you feel me what's your I mean, idea of success well you feel me the next level as far as within the music my goal honestly man is to rock it independently and learn as much as i can okay still being the fact that i only pushed my music out like a year ago really and i'm still in that learning process so i'm I wouldn't even feel comfortable signing nothing with nobody right now just because I'm still learning. And um, at the end of the day, I'm still acquiring all of the things that I feel like gonna be mandatory for me to make a, a successful move forward. But um, as far as signing deals with record labels, um, I'm not saying that it's a no, but um, it would literally, uh, they gonna have to get right for real. No, hundred percent, man. And that's why like, I was all saying. The way right. If you um, and that's why it was super important what you just said because you feel like you haven't put in enough work yet. So for you to even think that them signing you, you already see that you don't have no leverage. Well, so whatever I, they want you to do, they are gonna make you do whatever they want to pay you. So it's, it's better than sense, going there with some work than in a sense, kind of a partnership. Because right? I'm gonna say in a sense, right? Because. Mm -hmm. You're right, because um, that's how they see it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The only thing to me that gives me no le leverage like with them is a uh, bag. Mm -hmm. Listen, I can, let's just say this, right? Mm -hmm. Let's an artist like, uh, let's see who signed, uh, Lil Baby or somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, he got a single about to drop, right? Just imagine how much money go into that campaign. Now imagine if I had that. Okay, so I see how you're looking at it. It's, um, so, it's an investment going. Yeah, so the slow bill, right? I go, I go from zero streams to a hundred thousand in a year. So, and that's without pushing the fucking pay links. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm literally uploading my shit to SoundCloud. And telling people to go listen to it on SoundCloud for free. <laughs> That's dope. That was for a whole year. I, you know what I'm saying? But realistically, because I just couldn't attend to it how I needed to. So, but just understanding, like, okay, watching that shit go from zero dollars, zero point zero one cent to five dollars, ten dollars, two hundred. What the fuck? Okay, I'm starting to make money off my music. That's lit. One dollar. It's all I needed all for me I to know facts. I made it. Mm -hmm. I made it, nigga. One so I'm not chasing the, the game no more because I know how to make money off of me now. <laughs> That's all I needed. Like they say you could teach a person how to fish. I learned how to fish. Now I know how to fish. I can forever eat. So now all I need to know is, is how am I going to manipulate my fishing rod, which is my streams, to pull them fucking them viewers in because that's what I need. Yo, I heard an older dude. And that's without me deeper. doing shows, bro. Go in. You know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. without me doing shows. I can literally sit on my couch and build the streaming to a point to where I don't even have to go outside. I can literally pay my rent, do all of that just from sitting in my couch if I know how to market this shit the right way. Mm -hmm. I won't even have to do shows. You making 10000 15000 off of your streams monthly you tell me what you can do with your shit <laughs> you can pay your rent get a new crib new car all of that shit in one month's rent you get what i'm saying That's like all facts shit so you think like okay damn if i can make 200 dollars, i need to learn how to make 2000 then once that 2000 i need to get 20 racks mm -hmm. i need to know how to get 200k mm -hmm. i see rush posting Two hundred thousand dollar, three hundred thousand dollar fucking pictures of his United Master streaming checks. Like nigga, that's what I want. Oh, so are are you going through um a distributor? Yeah, I'm going through United Masters, but I own a hundred percent of all my shit. Okay, okay. I pay I bought all my shit out. I paid a little shit and I keep all my shit as long as it's up there. A hundred a hundred percent, bro. Hey. So even what even when it's being streamed on Apple Music, 
Spotify, shit, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. You could push. Matter of fact, y'all can put my shit on your story if you want. Tag me, whatever. It had the lyrics. It's in there. I don't know if it got the lyrics. Man, or not they be yet. doing some whole shit. Bro. Yeah, I be but trying to find the lyrics, I, I've bro. been waiting on them to give me my lyrics, but it's been on there long enough. I'm hopefully they give me get me right soon. But okay. I, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. If as long as it get played, whatever, they don't make no money off of me at all. So it's just playing on this shit. Because even when I see you on YouTube, I was like, man, like, how are you doing the YouTube? Because I see you got your own page, but every time I type you in, immediately the first couple of videos I seen, if I was real lazy and I wanted to click some shit. Yeah, it's the United Master Links. Oh, so that, yeah, they that's what the topics. Yeah, the topics. Yeah, the topics page. That's the automatically uh, okay. generated um, page from okay. United Masters directly. So whatever I drop. It's instantly a video put out on YouTube from United Masters of the single. Oh, so like if you don't put, so like the even thing, without me doing it on my personal account, some of the stuff you put on SoundCloud though they don't go on the YouTube. Nah. Mm, so you had to put it on the like, like how you like how, how do you how do you assure that it gets to YouTube is what I remember. Oh, okay. Well, my my songs period mm -hmm. get on YouTube through United Masters. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I have my own channel where I drop my videos. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I drop my actual visuals on my page, but the songs from topic. whatever, yeah, whatever I done put out on, on all platforms, you'll find it in the topic page on YouTube. Wow. Yeah. That's the first time I've heard that. Nah, he, he, he explained it amazingly, but yeah. I still can't find all the songs though, OG. Let me um, go on Which one? On YouTube? Yeah. Um, well, on YouTube, you're not going to see the same track list that you'll see on SoundCloud because SoundCloud I didn't put is all much everything. Yeah, SoundCloud is everything because I don't mm. put out all of those songs on all platforms. Okay. It's only uh, maybe, I want to say like 10 to 12, maybe 13 songs I don't put out on all platforms. But outside of that, SoundCloud going to give you everything I done dropped recently and haven't even uploaded to uh, my streaming service yet. So you can go get it for free first. I always leave it out like a couple months for free before I even put it out. And even when I put it out, I still don't delete it off of SoundCloud. I leave it up there just so that if you really fuck with me, shit, fuck it. Go pay the little one ninety nine and get that shit for me. And if you don't, then fuck it. Go get that bit for free and still have it on your phone and vibe. Regardless, I still want you to listen to me. Hey, a million dollar worth of game for one ninety nine, man. You better go grab that and produce hand something. Um, I, just, I have two more questions. Okay. But this is kind of more so for that question, but yeah, what do you want to actually say to your supporters that are actually listening and tuning into this interview right now? To my supporters, um, I just, I mean, if it was anything, I'll just say thank you. Um, uh, because it's been a journey, like I said, it's been a journey, man. Um, mm -hmm. and just to even have support, um, going through a lot and still trying to have this dream right here though mm -hmm. like this music dream um your supporters be with you throughout all of that so and they hearing the songs and they get the chance to like actually go through that shit with you mm -hmm. so i mean they family to me i don't even look at them as fans you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. um because i done built re true relationships with all of the people that i see continuously showing me love and um, those be the people that I make sure I either reach out to, like, ask them what they think about the song, or, you know what I'm saying, call them, check on them, or send them a message, make sure they are right type shit. It's just, I tap in with people for real. I'm like, I'm accessible on like. So like, you know, with that so, being said, like. One so, love to everybody though. Y'all already know the vibes. You're, you're like in your rookie year of this music thing. Like how long do you see yourself doing this? Like in the next five years, do you see yourself still in the same lane of, just kind of, you know, doing music as a hobby or? Nah. Um, in the next five years, okay. In the next two years, I want a Grammy. In the next three years, I'm trying to be set for life. Um, in the next five years, I'm trying to be traveling the world and helping people and eat and building hospitals, schools, giving women products that they need to take care of themselves in places that they don't have it. Um, 
just shaking the right hands, greeting the right people, trying to put my true effort into the earth. You know what I'm saying? Um, outside of that, I want to just continuously just be able to comf comf comfortably make music mm -hmm. um, as I go to keep showing the growth, um, the things I see, the things I go through, the people I experience. Um, I think it's important that, you know, I'm able to share that vibe because I think my true destiny is uh, bigger than just music. I yeah. think um, this, is, this is a talent that I'm getting to, to touch people in a way, right? So whenever, like how I see it, right? Um, let's just think about it in a way like this. Uh, let's see, Lil Wayne, right? Let's just say Lil Wayne. Mm -hmm. um, at the time of his prime type shit. Mm -hmm. Imagine, imagine the amount of eyeballs he had on him. Funny. We can quote him on um, all of his most classic verses. Facts. <laughs> but imagine how sense. many more, mm -hmm. how many, how much pressure that was for him for one, but for two, to not even know what to say when the world's watching. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You don't know how much influence you are. So for me to have that influence, like, see, the thing is, I already, like, I humbled myself to a point to where it's not about that. Mm -hmm. Just knowing my energy, I'm manifesting this shit. So it's like when I get to that point that all of the eyes are on me, I just want to be doing the right thing. And, and you know what I'm saying? Do you have that in a nutshell? Because my my last question is, what would you say to your past self that you know now that you kind of would warn them about? And then in regards to your message, once you do get to the top That's of the mountain, what is that message? Um, when I do get to that top, I'm going to answer that first. Mm -hmm. um, my message, honestly, would, I would hope to be is just... I don't know, love, peace, and unity, um, mm -hmm. and journey, you know what I'm saying? Because, Enjoy the journey, man. yeah, I think those four words honestly describe my whole entire vibe anyway. Okay. Um, so I think that's what I feel like my energy should be, you know what I'm saying? Once I get there, I want to be, not saying I'm going to be the most political or the most conscious or the most you know, driven towards everybody else's hey, the only thing, Hey, the only thing you promised us from the start was to be you, right? To be me, yeah. So, so I'm going to do that the best way I know how, you know what I'm saying? But that's what my heart truly is. Um, the, the the other part, which is what would I, what would I say to my old self? Mm -hmm. um, Hold on. What would you say to your younger self? To my younger self? Yes. Hmm. Um, it's gonna happen. Go harder. <laughs> and you're saying it being life. Everything, my happiness. Period. At its rawest form, mm -hmm. like whatever that is. Um. So just forward. Just not nah, like, keep your heart. It's gonna happen. Don't worry about it. Shake it off. But you wouldn't change nothing. Can you say all those experiences and things made you? Yeah, um, I wouldn't change nothing, man, honestly. I think um, to regret things mean you didn't live, bro. Like, mm -hmm. I've been living my life. Like, um, unfortunate, un unfortunately, the, you know, it's things that I felt like I could have did better. better. Oh, yeah, for sure. For Everybody. sure. It's always things that I feel like I could have did better. And that's the power in it all is the moment of reflection to yeah. know that you could have done better because a for lot sure. of people never nah, get that for sure. Far. For sure. Because um it would have saved me a lot of trouble, you know. And so <laughs> to, my, to my younger self, yeah, I would tell myself, man, listen, keep your heart pure, keep going, because it's gonna happen. Patience. Everything is you desire is it counts on you to keep going. That's the main thing, intention. I think intention is a big thing that we need to kind of harp on. And hey, you about to bring up the August 4th, um, Leo. Nah, what you mean, oh, yes, intention? Right What's intention? Nah, just keeping your heart pure and making oh, sure yeah, you're not yeah, 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 yeah. out of vain or just, you know, yeah, power. Um, 
because that's the thing that honestly made me stutter step on pushing for it. Like, um, it's just making sure I wanted this shit for the right reason. Because everything, like, should I know how to get money? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can't be chasing that for that. Like, yeah, I could be, I can have way a lot more money, but fuck that. Like, if you're not a hustler, you're not a hustler. You're going to know how to get by. Like, Mm -hmm. so... And I don't crave a fucking million dollar match. So as long as I got me somewhere that I can call home and then I feel like that about it, it's mine. Nice. That's all I need to feel is, is that it's mine. As long as it's mine, <laughs> I'm all right with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck how people feel. Like, whatever. Okay, cool. Right, let, me, let me give you a quick rundown of August 4th. It okay. says, August 4th birthday personality likes being productive and active and can usually take a beating without much discomfort. You are the kind of Leo that learns from previous mistakes. You are very charming and responsible. Family ties are family ties are important to you. <laughs> the lion is typically the king of the jungle, or that is to say his or her home. As an individual with an August 4th birthday, you love being the center of attention. People gather around you because you are fun to be around. You are sweet and always in a good mood. Your smiles are contagious. And then some adjectives that describe you, progressive, commanding, extrovert, generous, responsible, communicative, optimistic. Just optimistic. Simone. That's crazy. Yo, you know, it's funny is because we went through the whole cast and That's we said it at the end of the cast, right? And during the cast, OG said, bro, I don't even, it ain't really that I don't call friends, but like, nigga, some shit happened, nigga. We pull up 20 deep, just family. Yeah. Let me run it back. Let me run it back. It says, are extroverts who are boldly elegant and say what's on your mind. Mm. In general, you like to surround yourself with people who have similar interests as you. Mm -hmm. You have those with influence in your back pocket as you are optimistic, Mm. persuasive, and trustworthy. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Like even when he was saying, like, yo, I want to really on the music tip to where it was like, oh, I just came into it. And I just want to get my voice out. You yeah. know, get my voice out. I'm able to do this. Like, you feel me? Like you immediately started thinking about what you could do once you get your voice out. You like, yeah. yo, I got my voice out now. Hey, okay. let's um go over here. Yeah. Just the president of what? <laughs> yeah. What's up, G? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so yeah, this is kind of contradicting, but go it goes ahead. into Touch. another uh, agreement, I guess. If today's your birthday, Earth Day, then chances are you want to live the lifestyle of the rich and famous. You dream of that red carpet entrance and champagne toast. You can also be very generous and kind. Um, you are not jealous or envious of other people's success. In fact, they learn, you, I'm guessing they say, learn from them as they find themselves on the same Facts. path. Facts. Um, That's a big fact. Have things. Wait, so what about the toasting in the rich and famous? Part? Oh, I mean, honestly, I, I think in the back of everybody had mm-hmm. is doing this shit. You kind of know it's, it come with it type mm-hmm. shit. Like, but do I crave it? Nah, because, bro, I done, I done had Louis, Gucci. Right. All of that good shit. You've heard, you, you, you yeah, trace yourself in I, I done did out. shit. Yeah, I done did shit like that. Mm-hmm. So, and I realized I, it ain't me. Like, I'd rather throw on a pair of Vans or a pair of Converse yeah. or a pair of Pumas. Once you start, I, thinking I about rather it, wear like, a bro, white t shirt no with some damn joggers or some regular yeah, jeans. I'm vibing like that, and that shit I might have on the look like I might buy me a little watch or something, bro. But I ain't finna go crazy, man. Like, I ain't doing nothing too much, bro. I'm straight, bro. Cause look, <laughs> I ain't look for one, bro. I'm not even finna have niggas trying to set me up for no robbery. You ain't finna see me with no jewelry on like that. I'm going to shows naked like this. Nigga, you gonna like me for me. <laughs> nigga, fuck that jury shit. Yeah. When I step out and do events and shit, like dinners or some shit, I might get right. But, mm-hmm. man, I ain't gotta wear that shit to no shows for you to rock out. Nigga, my music gonna make you jam. Mm-hmm. All right, let me run some oh, more thanks. things by and I'm done. All right, so it says, um, things to do and people to see as your life can be filled with many accomplishments and rewards and all this you will likely stay humble and grounded Mm -hmm. um it also says that if you're born on this day you are it says you can't be closed-minded individuals but still very social you tend to debate over other people's opinions but you are not always right remember there are always two sides oh these are negative as these are negative these are the ones that you gotta learn how to control yeah yeah Nah, i can hear a lot of that Mm because i mean these are all things i don't have to face through already so 
it's a part attitude, of being trying to be the best you. Facts, man, best this you. attitude sometimes prevents you from sustaining relationships that otherwise would have been beneficial for you. Mostly, you have good friends and enjoy. Hey, you remember that one time song, time. man? The 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 green. Do you you were talking oh, yeah. about that friendship? Yeah. Yeah, hey, you remember that green. <laughs> We could have been a good team. I swear to God, nigga. I guess I'm on the journey to faith. For some risk you're going to take for the cream. You got to get cream because life is a journey. Nigga. Hey, All right, um, I, I think that's a, Hey, we ain't going. Yeah, you know I'm saying like, hey, y'all know how we do this thing. We're going to have to have a side B with OG, oh, bro. Yeah, but, yeah, you know, we don't want to, you know, we don't want to take too much time. Empress, uh, Empress in the back fanning herself. I guess it's hot. You feel me? So we, we got the fan on a little this bit is of here. Initiation weather, bro. Hey, but Not thank ready. man, thank everybody for coming through, bro. I definitely want to thank you, OG, for coming through. Bro. I that appreciate shit. this shit, man. This shit was probably like the dopest interview man. I done did so far, bro. Bro, no hey, cap. I ain't hey, gonna lie. hey, hey, say that. <laughs> hey, nice vibe, bro. Appreciate man, it. Thank you, bro. I'm telling you, bro, that, that's the whole shit, bro. We don't want this to seem like an interview too much, bro. You want you feel nah, me? Nah, yeah, honestly, I ain't even feel like that about it. You know what I'm saying? It's actually, it's cool to be able to, I guess, open up and um, just think about and reflect. Like it's a good, yeah. it's a good chance for me to reflect on some of the that's things my that, whole I, initiate, that my I've whole done. Thing with it, not you know, provoking. yeah. So it's just recognizing um the journey I've been on and how much work I've been putting in and um. You know how much more work i got to do type shit. so um again thank you everybody you know what i'm saying just shit, all y'all that popped in where um, can they find you at nato what's good brother um <laughs> they can find me um everywhere actually um all you got to do is type in s-p-a-c-e-b-o-i make sure you spell space boy with the i at the end instead of a y and um marley m-a-r-l-e-y on all platforms whatever whichever one you want but I suggest you go to SoundCloud if you're not trying to pay for it. You want to listen to it for free. If you like it, after listening to it for free, shit, show your boy some I'm love and go buy that shit. I'm responsible for 50 of those Life is a Journey plays. <laughs> it's on reason. Yeah, I, I fuck with that hard. song. Hey, look, the thing is, too, that was my first video. It's mm -hmm. a video for that. No, nah, that video was fucking that guy, super he's cinematic. An amazing actor. Cinematic. Um, he um, my homeboy Sink. Yeah, shouts out to Sink, man. That's a cinematic ass shouts video. out to Sink. He done been in, he done been in um every one of my videos except for one so far. And it's my dog. He also got his own shit going on. Shouts out to Uplifted Music Review. He always trying to lift the people up. Good, hey, that's good how energy, we found you, bro. We was watching him and we yeah. was like, Space Boy. Hey, so but, but 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 we gotta shout out. <laughs> We gotta shout out though. Yeah, we gotta and, shout out. And, and, shout out my little brother. Shout out to my little brother too, man. You right. already know Travis yeah, Barnes. because he was the first one. And no more going broke. The networking is yeah. serious. Yeah. yeah. So that's how we do this shit. Ain't bro. no more it's going a, broke. It's a chain link, bro. Because look, I ain't no OG. I ain't no uplifting. Mm -hmm. I, I yeah. knew Travis. Travis shared it to me, and I'm like, oh shit, yeah. I'm fucking with this. You feel me? I'm watching it. Now you did. Yeah, because I had put him on. He, that's he, my dog. That's that's sink. That's my dog, man. That's my brother, man. Man, we yeah, gotta, keep doing that, bro. Your yeah, network is your network, bro. Make sure yeah. you networking, bro, with these folks, bro, because that's your network, bro. I don't care how much money you got in your hands right now, bro. Everybody go through hard patches, bro. If you can't lean on nobody, bro, you ain't gonna get out of it, bro. No, no man is an island, bro. No man. So. Definitely, Empress man, and this man. Go alone, go fast, Ooh. go together, go far. What you saying? Hey, with that being said, thank you guys for tuning in. What you saying? What you saying? That is the conclusion of episode 95 of the Wise Magi Godcast. Shout out to Spaceboard Marley for stopping by and letting us get an interview. Well, hey, but life like, itself. On what social sites can we find Spaceboard Marley? Instagram, Facebook, TikTok? <laughs> yeah, TikTok. And it's the same YouTube. TikTok. Yeah, YouTube. It's the same. Space Boy Marley across. all the way across, man. Hey, all streaming platforms. Everywhere. I made it easy for everybody SoundCloud to find is where it's yeah. just convenient. And um, <laughs> to everybody that's watching, I seen y'all pop in. Take care of yourself, the ones around you, and treat the people that love you. Go to forever, man. Peace. Man.